Hello everybody, it's Carly. Welcome here back to my channel. Welcome to my summer empties. I love doing empties videos. I used to do them twice a year and now I like to do them every season just to go through what's been my favorite, what I recommend, what I don't. And I know that you guys love watching them so I hope that you enjoy this. Subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you stick around for future videos. Hit that thumbs up if you're excited about the video and let's dive right in. So there's some spillage on the floor of things that couldn't fit in this bucket but I just keep this in my office and I hold on to any products that I've emptied out which is obviously the whole point of a video but I'm gonna dive in there's no particular order to this I just wanted to be able to share the things that excite me maybe like repeat purchases all of that first up is my favorite deodorant this is the only deodorant that I'll use this is the dove spray deodorant specifically I love spray deodorant I think it's easy I think it dries faster and the cucumber scent is just fresh and light and I truly go through so many of these this is my Laneige lip sleeping mask and this is in the berry scent now this took me forever to get through which is really nice because these aren't super cheap so it's nice that they do last a long time what's really cool about this brand as well is if you're lucky you can find some at Marshall's and at TJ Maxx you just have to look they're not always there but I believe this one specifically I found at Marshall's so really nice they're like half the price they're still like $15 but they last such a long time and they feel amazing on my skin the berry one was really nice but right now i have the mint and that one's just my favorite you guys know i'm addicted to trying new like first cleanse so either an oil or a balm this one is by naturium this is the fermented camilla creamy cleansing oil and I didn't love this as much as I thought it, I would. I just continue to recommend the Pharmacy Green Clean one and the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Those are on the pricier side, but you get way more for your money. And I just feel like they work so much better. You only have to use a little bit. This one I found to be nice, but I just noticed such a big difference in my skin when I really get in there and clean. And the Pharmacy Green Clean cleansing balm is what I have right now and I truly love it. I have a couple of body scrubs. The first one is this Hey Pumpkin Vanilla Spice one and this took me a while to get through because I like to use it within like the fall season of course but then I just felt bad having it sit in my shower so then I used it up. <laughs> so this one's really nice. I found this at TJ Maxx. I honestly just got it because the cute packaging. I just feel like it was so cute in my shower. Um, I liked it. It was like pretty rough to be honest of a scrub so I only you ever use it like on my body I never put these things on my face but it did turn into like a milky consistency which was really nice and the smell was just like perfect vanilla spice not too pumpkin-y um, but still like a little pumpkin vanilla spice action to keep you going through the fall so I really recommend these I just love body scrubs they're so fun to try and test out and they just make me feel like extra special in the shower so i really love it these ones are for sure my favorite brand though these ones are the tree hut this is the tanitian vanilla cream no vanilla bean and then this one is like their coco colada i always opt for the vanilla one just because this one is pretty much all year round i think this one was like a summer one that i saw i know that they have a bunch of new flavors all the time but these are just my favorite you can easily pick them up from the grocery store at least where i grocery shop and it's just again nice to have that little body scrub especially in the summer when you need to like reamp yourself tan or in the winter if you're feeling really dry i totally recommend a body scrub they changed the way that my skin is i just i love them so much this will be no surprise as well i recently upgraded my whole bathtub experience so if you haven't seen that video you can watch it down below i will leave a link to it in the description or i'll leave it in the cards right here but a standard for me are bubbles and the dr teal's foaming bath whatever bubbles are the best again you can get them at the grocery store super easy to find and they're super big and they just give the best bubbles and the best smell so i always love to go for the lavender sometimes i'll switch it up and do something new but this is a standard for me a couple more fun shower products that have just for some reason given me so much happiness in life this is the olay cleansing and brightening b3 plus vitamin c body wash first off i just love having this in my shower like these two things are just like so cute by each other or even by like your little scrub it's just so fun to make your shower just I don't know like pleasing you have to be in there all the time so it's like you might as well enjoy the products that you have and this is a repeat purchase for me i love olay 
Um, I just love the idea of a body wash. I don't know why. I don't like wash my like part with a body wash. I like to use a bar soap for that, but I just like to finish everything off with a bit of a body wash. So that's a little extra, but it just makes me so happy. So this is for sure a must for me. I've tried all of the other scents. I know there's like a purple one and I think like more of a brown one, um, but the yellow vitamin C one is my favorite. <laughs> and as you can see, Mowgli definitely got into this Oveeno can. He really loved this. That was the problem with having my empties just kind of waiting for me. I like to keep them out so I can kind of see how much I have gathered. But when you have a puppy roaming around, this was not the best experience so he did get the cap of this but this is the Aveeno positively smooth um like the shave gel i love to get the sensitive or the lightly scented and i recently just started treating myself to a shave gel i used to just do it with my bar soap but again i know it's really extra but i love self-care and i love products that make me feel my best and it just i don't know it just adds some like fun into your life I guess on like daily things so I don't love like always having to shave my legs it's just like the most annoying task but I love my products to help me do that so um, I picked this up this is like a repeat purchase for me I always have this in my shower and I love it so much speaking of repeat purchases I guess all of these things have totally been hits for me so I will let you guys know if it's something that you shouldn't buy but for the most part these are like technically my favorites um this is my favorite self tanner right now this is the bondi sands self tanning foam and i get the dark which it sounds scary to like get the dark i think there might be an ultra so maybe i'm not even getting the darkest but I love this stuff so much. I recommended it to my friend. She loves it. Like it's just an amazing self tanner brand. I use it on a little mitt and I just love the cover. I don't have it on today because I'm trying to embrace like the natural sun and I have a little bit on my shoulders, um, but definitely in the winter and like throughout the rest of the year, this is my go-to. It's easily accessible. It's like pretty average on the price range what you'd get from loving tan or any of those so i just feel like i've kind of talked myself into these are things that are priorities i say that loosely but like these are things that make me happy so i like to get like a good price point but at the same time they're kind of all the same so you just got to try them and find what works for you but this one has been my favorite for such a long time so this big boy is my shampoo and this is my new favorite shampoo when i tell you this lasted me so long i'm serious it lasted me such a long time i was really nervous because i was recommended to get this for my hair um, i'm still in my hair growth journey it's i don't know if it's going well i think we're we've plateaued just a little bit but i really really want to have good healthy hair so i was recommended to get a really good shampoo this stuff was expensive i will say but again lasted me such a long time um so i still have the conditioner that i'm working through um, but this is the awapui wild ginger moisture lather shampoo and it's like the repair line this stuff is so good. It's kind of hard to get your hands on. You have to get it through like a cosmetologist. I've seen a couple places online where you can get it, but it is only like a smaller bottle. And I think if you're gonna buy this, I would rather pay a little bit more upfront so it can last me a little longer. Um, so that's the only downside is it is like annoying to have to go through someone else to buy something because I'm not like always thinking ahead that way um but i have loved this i love the scent when i got it i originally thought okay i'll just use it like this will be my thing but then sebastian loves it so it's just great for everybody here in the house and i probably won't ever turn back i love it you can totally feel a difference in my hair and i actually can go like longer in between washes because i'm getting like a super good clean on my head when i do wash my hair so i will have all of my favorite things actually linked down below in my description that will be one of them again i don't know how i'm gonna do that so never mind i will just have the name of it and you can ask whoever does your hair if they have access to this another hair thing this is the briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask again this was recommended to me as well actually i also think i picked this up the first time around for sebastian he really wanted to something was going on with his head maybe he had like a dry scalp or something i can't remember but i picked this up after a lot of like reviews and recommendations and we went through it we loved it so i picked it up again and this is something again to just like spoil yourself i don't know why i like to show you guys that it's empty but there it is just to give yourself like a little extra self-care in the shower if i haven't already let you guys know i 
love self-care so things like this really do make a difference so yeah a deep conditioner is great if you're trying to work on those dead ends you know it's always nice to have a little bit of moisture i don't do this all the time i do it like every i probably do it like at the end of every week just to give my hair a little love sometimes i even go a little bit longer but it's nice to have in the shower just in case on those days where you feel like your hair needs a little help if you're doing a lot of pool days lake days things like that like that stuff dries out my hair so bad so having this is really nice and i absolutely love this brand i haven't tried any of their other like shampoos and conditioners but i do know a lot of people love them so I definitely recommend. I have another cleansing balm. Again, I'm always like on the hunt trying to find new things. This is from Versed and it's their Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. I did not like this. I've used this in the past. It's nice for a quick like emergency grab if you need something, but it's not my favorite. And I feel like if I am going to already spend a little bit of money, like I think this is like 14 or $15. So I might as well just go the extra and get the one that I really love and enjoy and it's not like a huge amount of product um, so yeah I did use it up because these things like don't really bother my skin too much which is really nice I don't get like a huge reaction from them but it wasn't enough to go back and buy it again okay this stuff is so good I'll have to link it specifically down below because for some reason like I don't even really know like what it's called it's called sea buckthorn best skin ever it's a cleansing moisturizer so my friend turned me on to this and i actually have another one already in my bathroom because i loved it so much um you just do a little bit on a cotton pad after you cleanse your face that's why i'm a little confused because it's like a cleanser moisturizer but what i would do is like fully clean my skin and then take this either in my hands or on a cotton pad and like wipe it all over my skin and leave it on there something about this mixed in with my other skincare products it's just making my skin so i'm sorry but so gorgeous and i just feel like i've kind of found the rhythm of what i need like in my skincare and that's what's hard about skincare it's a lot of different products working together and like adding things taking things out everybody's skin is different but i would highly recommend this it just adds like a really nice glow to your skin and i was hooked i loved it Again, I talked about this in my last empties because I continue to pick this up. This is the Body wait, Body Cology Cozy Fireside S'more Body Cream. This is at Walmart and it's so good. I love this stuff so much. So it's my favorite. Like it's not a hydrating moisturizer by any means. I mean, it adds like a little bit, but I use like a good like intensive care hydration whatever moisturizer but this just smells really good i i think i had a comment last time that this smells like not good on some people like she said it smells like cigarette smoke which that makes me sad because i feel like it smells so sweet and just like so good on my skin so again with the empties i love that i always have it on tap because i just i love it this is the kenra volume dry shampoo i got this recommended because i believe jaclyn hill really really loves this stuff but I don't know it is just not my favorite right now i'm using the amika dry shampoo and that one is everything we just have a couple more things which are all like face stuff and makeup this is the mario badescu um, facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender again if you like frequent my favorite videos no this is not favorites empties videos then you'll know that this is like always in my um empties videos i just love them they make me happy they don't really serve a purpose other than like for my brain and for my soul so i had to this is the milani soft focus glow this is a complexion enhancer this i thought was gonna work let me grab it i thought this was going to be a replacement for the l'oreal beach babe glow lotion i don't really know um this was nice but it wasn't my favorite this is what you need for the summer it adds like the most gorgeous glow and sheen to your skin and i use it all summer long i also use it all year long because it's just that gorgeous and even in the winter i can't look back so that's what this i thought was going to replace but it couldn't next is a little travel size of the cerave facial moisturizing lotion the pm kind i actually really loved this so much that i bought the full size and this is what i use at night for my nighttime moisturizer sorry the lighting and i can now see is changing a little bit um but yes this stuff is so good i love it i love like an easy nighttime um 
moisturizer, especially because I use like all my serums, all my glow things at night. So it's really nice just to have a simple, clean, easy moisturizer. So that one is really good. Okay, I have two um, facial serums to share with you guys. One is the Asterwood Naturals Hyaluronic Acid. Again, my friend turned me on to this. She is like in the know of what like we need for beauty, what we need for skincare. Like she just, she has it all. So this one is from Amazon and I love it. I have another bottle in my bathroom right now. I love hyaluronic acid. I love adding it back into my skin and it just makes me feel really nice and like plump and like hydrated. I don't really know. I didn't have anything weird happen the first bottle. So I thought that it was safe and picked up another one. And it definitely has become my favorite to use in the morning to hydrate my skin and just get my skin off to like the right start in the morning. This next one is the, I never know how to say this brand. Caudalie, I don't know. Um, this is their Vino Perfect Serum, and this is supposed to help with dark circles, dark spots, things like that on your face. It says it's a radiance serum with complex complexion correcting serum. Um, I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, and I love this stuff. This stuff is pricey, okay? This stuff is $80, <laughs> which when I first did it, I was like, there's no way that this is $80, but it is, and it is so worth it. I'm not someone who like has a lot of products that are $80. Uh, like I said, I love an Amazon, I love a drugstore, but with my skin, there's just a couple of marks that I'm trying really hard to get rid of. A few months back, I did microneedling, which really, really helped. Again, I know that's something, another part to invest in, but it really, really helped me, and I just wanted to continue on that journey of like lightening my skin, adding radiance, all of that stuff, because that stuff is just what makes me feel good personally, but so I heard a lot of great things about this, was highly recommended, and I cannot recommend it enough. I went through one bottle. It did last pretty well, which made me feel good, because I was like, I can't fork out this like every month but it does last a while it's just a couple drops and i put it on my skin at night and i love it so i have a bottle of it in my bathroom right now and i'm telling you it's now become my holy grail product and i think it's so worth it i have two mascaras these mascaras are pretty much the only mascaras i use well this one in particular this is the cover girl lash blast clean this one's waterproof which was a mistake because i normally don't get waterproof and then this one is the maybelline the falsies volume express Mascara to me is mascara, but for some reason these two are my favorite, so there's really nothing to say. Now, it's a sad day because as you know, I've almost completed this empties video and there's only one tub of this Naturium Niacinamide Gel Cream Moisturizer. I usually go through like four or five of these. I love this stuff, but like I mentioned, I went to go see my friend Emily who does microneedling, she does facials, lots of different things, and she recommended an amazing vitamin C moisturizer, and I have been using it and loving it and like soaking it in, so I haven't had to buy anything else, and I think I'm slowly getting into the like invest in your skincare type of like phase, like I'm gonna be 26, so maybe this is like when it starts, it's like pre-30s. Um, so I'm slowly starting to like stop buying things at the drugstore and things like that. Like when it comes to certain skincare products, I guess, I don't know. So I can have the one that she recommended linked down below. It's Image Studios or Image something, Image Skincare, I don't know. I'm not done with it, which is why it's not here, but I'll have a link down below. It's truly been my favorite moisturizer and I didn't think I would ever replace my Naturium one, but the time has come. I have a mini travel size of the Tresemme hairspray. I don't wear hairspray or like, I guess you don't wear it, but I don't like spray it on a daily basis, but I guess I'm like when I'm traveling, you never know. So I went through a little baby one and that's it. I don't really buy hairspray. For brows, these are my holy grail products. This is the NYX the brow glue. Um, I love this stuff. It's a nice option, uh, like drugstore option. I also really do love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. That one's really great. I think it's like $23 where this is significantly cheaper and it works really well. I have it on my brows today um, because I repurchased it. It's nice. It's easy. I don't really fluff around too much with my brows. I do have them laminated. So I just do a little brow gel here and there and it works for me. And then my brow pencil, this has never changed. This is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. It's just tiny and slim and I continue to repurchase it because you just need like a little bit on your brows for me personally and I'm out the door. Oh, this is it. Okay, so this is the moisturizer that I was talking about. She did give me a travel size right after my facial just to see if I liked it, how it worked on my skin. I loved it so much that I bought the 
full size. So this is the Image Skincare Vital C Hydrating Intense Moisturizer. And this stuff is gorgeous. Like, it's gorgeous. I love vitamin C. I love having it on my body as well as my face. And so this was no shocker to me that I was gonna love it. I just kind of usually have it in a serum. I don't mix it with my moisturizer, but having it in my moisturizer has been really great. I feel like the vitamin C and the Vino Perfect Serum have just been working really well to help with my skin's overall complexion. So I've been really happy with it. And I'm glad I had a little one to show you guys because it's my new favorite thing. My last empty is a lip gloss. This is the ColourPop. I cannot remember exactly what it is, but they're like the little glosses. And this is in the shade Sunny. No, this is in the shade Skinny Dip. <laughs> so I will have a link down below. It's one of my favorite um, glosses to wear every single day. It's easy to find, easy to access, and just like carry out with you throughout the day. It's just like a really light coverage for a gloss. I just love the way that a gloss like adds just like a nice like feminine glossy touch to your lips i really enjoy that personally so it's not too sticky too so that's really nice um i will have that link down below because it's truly become my go-to gloss in terms of like when i want that look and that is it for my empties my bucket has been emptied i can't wait to continue to add to it and see you guys here for the fall when we do this all again i hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments if there's something specific you want to see from me i appreciate you all being here so much and tuning into the video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on future videos and i will see you right back here in a brand new video really soon bye